Hi everyone, when you are using an app, chances are that this app is using filters. And sometimes you have the number of items for this particular filter. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you how you can insert the number of items that you have for a particular filter. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this with two different syntax. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I have an app here, which is a reward app. And in this card style layout in here, you can see that we have the uh, statuses. So we have pending, we have approved, rejected, and so on. And at the top, we have the filter, so we can filter the uh, nomination. So for example, here we have approved, we can see we have one item. So if I filter, indeed I have one item in here pending, we have four, and so on for the other ones. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you two different syntax um, to display the number of items that you have in your filters. So before we start, I'm um, just going to show you the uh, nominations list that I have in SharePoint. And what we're going to do is actually we're going to use this overall status column in here. So if we want to show the number of items for approved or pending, that's the column that we are going to use. So let's go back into the app and I'm going to put the app on edit mode and we're going to create a new screen. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert two checkboxes. So let's go into insert and input and checkbox. So I have one and then do the same checkbox and I'm going to insert a second one. So I'm going to zoom in. And this is what we are going to be uh, using. So the first thing is probably the the formula that we're most um, used to use, uh, which is the concatenate. So we're going to use the concatenate formula. And if we think about what we want to do exactly is we want to have the word. So that would be approved or reject. And then we have an open parenthesis. Then we have the number. And finally, we have uh, the closing parenthesis. So that's what we're going to do in here. So we put the approved and then we want the open parenthesis. And then we want the number. So what we are going to do is I've already have um, a collection where I have um, all the items from this nominations list. And what we are going to do is we are going to filter that collection. And then we want to count the number of um, status that we have for either approved or reject. So for this, we're going to use the count rows uh, function and we want to filter the uh, collection which is called nominations which I've named it like that and then what we want to do so we want everything that's approved in the overall status column so that's what we're going to use so overall status status like that equals to approved. All right. And then I'm going to close the parentheses. And finally, we need to have our uh, closing parentheses from the filter. So we close the parentheses. And we close the formula. And as you can see, we have approved equals um, one. So what we can do actually in here is we can add a space. So we have a space between approved and the parentheses. So that's the first way to do it. The second way is to use a different syntax, which is new, although it's used by um, many other uh, programming languages. And the way we do this is I'm going to use the second one. Again, I'm going to remove this. And the syntax is starting with a dollar sign. 
and then we want to put our string. So this time we don't need to um, put some uh, commas or anything. We write everything and the values that are actually dynamic are between curly braces. So we're going to have our approved, approved in here, and then we open the parentheses. I'm going to grab the formula that we have in here, which this one is giving us the number. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to close my parentheses and in between, this is where we are going to put our number. So we put the formula and we need to put everything between curly braces. I'm just going to make that a bit better. And this is what we have. And you can see that we have the exact same results. Um, need to close this so it looks a bit better. And we have the exact same results in here. Now we can change that simply. Um, we can do pending and then we change in here to pending. And again, we have the exact same number that we had in here. If we look at um, the home page, which was approved one and pending four. And this is what we have in here, approved one and pending four. So after that, it's just um, for you to choose which syntax is better for you, which is simpler um, to remember. And but both are actually working up to you.